This is Chris the Idaho Painter. Here on Paint Life TV, today is Fitness Friday, and I'm gonna start a new series here showing you what I do working out in the gym. I've got you know, a bunch of requests, people want to see my fitness routine, and I think it's time to show you what I do. Now, I've been a fitness fanatic all my life, and um, I work out, I, here's my gym. I also do CrossFit, I go to CrossFit at a gym, and then I'm an avid cyclist, so I ride uh, mountain bikes and road bikes. And I'm gonna try to give you some all around fitness uh, tips and tricks, and then give you some of my workout routines that I do to stay fit. Now, I think it's extremely important as a painter to uh, be fit. You know, I stay fit because I wanna be a good example to my family, um, friends and family, and then I just wanna be healthy all around. And, being fit as a painter, you can work longer. You're gonna have less fatigue at the end of the day, uh, less likely to get injured. You're gonna be able to work faster. There's a whole lot of benefits to working out, being fit, and uh, looking fit as a painter when you go uh, meet new and prospective clients. So today's workout, I'm gonna be giving you a Fitness Friday, be stronger, work longer, paint by fitness. Today's workout is gonna be three exercises. I'm gonna be doing kind of a CrossFit style workout, but this workout will work your whole entire body. Now, it is important to work out, and uh, some of you may ask, well, why do I need to work out? Well, you're climbing ladders every day, so you're gonna be using your legs, quads, your glutes, your hamstrings, climbing up and down those ladders, so you need strength and endurance so you can do that day in and day out and have a long career painting. You're also gonna be cutting in lines, you're gonna be rolling walls day in and day out, so you need to work your upper bodies and shoulders. Our first exercise we're gonna be doing today is thrusters. This is not an easy uh, exercise to do, it's tough to do, but I'm gonna show you what a thruster looks like. In today's workout, we're gonna do three exercises in a row. I'm gonna do 10 reps of each exercise, and then after I complete those three exercises, I'm gonna uh, rest one minute and doing them again. I'm gonna do three sets, 10 reps of each exercise. So these are uh, really simple workouts that you can do in a gym, and you don't have to be a fitness buff, a fitness fanatic like me, but these are great uh, overall body exercises that will make you a better painter. So the first exercise is a thruster. This barbell will typically be on the ground. I have the luxury of having um, blocks to have it up on, but I'm just gonna take my weight. I'm gonna power clean my weight up get it in a position right here. And a thruster movement is I'm gonna squat down, squat back up, and press it overhead. That's a thruster, that's one rep. So down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four. That is a thruster. That's gonna work your quads. It's gonna work your glutes, your hamstrings, your shoulders, your ch chest, your traps, everything. Great exercise to do. I'm gonna do 10 reps of that, then I'm gonna go right to what we call a devil's press. I'm gonna show you what a devil's press looks like right now. So here's a devil's press. A devil's press is gonna be using dumbbells and you're gonna start with the dumbbells on the floor. And this movement, like a thruster, is gonna be a whole body workout. It's going to be getting down and doing a push up on the dumbbells, getting up and then pressing those dumbbells overhead and the first time I've ever seen this movement, I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm using 50 pound dumbbells. Uh, you're probably not gonna start with that kind of weight. I started off originally um, in CrossFit way lighter than that, but now I use 50 pound dumbbells. So here we go. The thrusters are down on the ground. I like them about, um, you know, starting off the width of what I would do a push up on. So I'm gonna squat down, do a push up on the dumbbells. Then I'm gonna come back up Take the dumbbells, swing them overhead and press and right back down. And the whole swinging movement, I like to get them get between my legs because you're using momentum to swing and press overhead. When I set them back down, I like to set them right back down in the width of doing a push up and then you go right back into uh, your devil's press. So it's a consecutive movement. I'm gonna start off. Press, 
Push. Press. Push. And there is three devil's presses. Now we're gonna move on to the next exercise, which is wall balls. And um, if you don't have a wall ball, this is for, a lot of gyms nowadays have um, CrossFit equipment. Most gyms have wall balls where you can do a wall ball and you can toss it up. I have the convenience of having a target, but you just, you can have a wall. I'm gonna show you the wall balls. All right, on to the third exercise. I'm gonna be doing wall balls. And a wall ball, if you've never heard of wall balls, seen a wall ball, here's a wall ball. This is a 20 pound wall ball. This is what we'd be using if we're doing um, an RX workout at CrossFit. So I've got a 20 pound wall ball and I have a um, regulation target right up there. Uh, the RX target is the top target. I would be just throwing the ball up at the target, hitting the target, catching it, coming down into a squat and throwing it back up, just like your thruster, just like your devil's press, shoulder workout, upper body workout, leg, quad, glute, hamstring, and all these exercises work your core, which is your abdominal midsection. But after this, we're gonna be doing a core workout. So I'm gonna give you two exercises for your abs to do after this workout. So the wall ball, it's, there's my target right here. Here's my wall ball. Very simple, once again, CrossFit. I started out with a lot lighter wall or wall ball than I actually use now. And all of the disadvantages to those targets, regulation targets, for us shorter people, we have a longer distance to throw the ball. Um, but that's the way I was born and I like being short, so that's cool. I'll deal with it. Here's my target. I'm gonna start off with my ball in a position like this, and I like to be probably about three feet from my uh, target. So I'm gonna stand back, squat, throw, catch. Squat, throw, and it's a full squat. Back into your toss. That's a wall ball toss right there. So I'm gonna do 10 of those, and then I'm gonna rest a minute, and then I'm gonna do my routine again. So we're gonna do 10, 10, 10. Give ourselves a rest of a minute, 10, 10, 10. By your third one, you're gonna be pretty exhausted. Now, if a rest of a minute is uh, not enough for you, you can modify the workout in CrossFit. We call it scale, you can modify it. You can take two minutes if your cardiovascular you know, isn't up you know, to doing an RX workout and as prescribed. So um, one minute in between. So starting off with my thrusters. So I'm gonna do my 10 thrusters and there is no rest in between um, each exercise. So I'm gonna do 10 thrusters, go right to my uh, 10 um, devil's presses and you're gonna be huffing and puffing after that, then you're gonna to go to 10 wall balls, and then you get your minute rest. Um, here we go, we're gonna see if we can do this. So, work out right along with me. Um, here we go, 10 thrusters.
We're gonna do it all over again. All right, now we got our first workout done. Our first Fitness Friday workout. Now, some of you may not have a barbell, you may not have dumbbells, you may not have you know, a gym like I have, but you know, we all have, as painters, paint cans at some point in time. Now, uh, the thruster, the first uh, movement I did, you can do a thruster um, by holding paint cans, press overhead, come down, squat, press overhead. Here's a thruster with paint cans. And you know, some paint cans are heavier than other paint cans. You're strong enough, use a five gallon paint can. So you can do a thruster with a paint can. You can do a devil's press with a paint can also. And here's a devil's press with a paint can. I can have them on the ground. I can squat down and do a push up. Press overhead. There's a devil's press with a paint can. Now, we don't want to be tossing a paint can in the air because we all know, you know what can happen if you miss. So I would substitute doing squats with the paint cans to, um, with side laterals. So I'm gonna squat, perhaps I'll have it on my sides, I'm gonna squat, come up, do a side lateral, squat, come up, do a side lateral, squat, side lateral. So there's three exercises with paint cans that you can do. Once you're done with that three rounds, 10 reps each, we're gonna move on to abdominal work. All right, on to our core workout. Now, you know, it's very important doing your know, core work because you're up and down ladders, climbing, carrying things in and out of your vans, vehicles, and you know, it just takes a strong core to do all that stuff if you want to have a long career painting and an injury-free career also. And uh, then once again, you know, I like to you know, set a great example, be healthy and fit for my family. Also just you know, um, take pride in myself and um, how I look. And so you know, I just want to look good, be fit and healthy. So um, this is all part of it, doing core. Um, and this is the not fun part, but here we go. Uh, Russian twist, we're gonna do 50 Russian twists. And a Russian twist, I like to have a pad, you know, underneath me, because as you're twisting, if you're on hard uh, matting like this, um, I've actually <laughs> rubbed my tailbone raw and it hurts. So um, <laughs> you can use a pad if you need to. Um, but a Russian twist is you're just gonna be up in the air, legs in the air, and you're just gonna twist from side to side and touch the mat. Now, what you don't wanna do is just sit here looking like this and just reaching over. You actually want to twist your core and touch the mat, twist. So each touch is one, a rep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. That is a Russian twist and it's interesting because it doesn't look that difficult, but it is really difficult. Now. Here's a Russian twist if you get into using weights. So you're gonna to touch the ball each side. One, two, three. Just like that. That added weight is gonna make you stronger, give you a stronger core. So uh, first exercise is gonna be 50 Russian twists and you try to do them consecutively. If you can't, break them up into sets of 10. Uh, but here we go. We'll do a Russian twist. All right, so if you're strong enough to do these with, um, you know, added weight and you don't have a wall ball, once again, our paint can conserve is our resistance, and we can do 50 Russian twists with a paint can. Now, I'm gonna turn over and do what we call a plank. I'm gonna get right into 
a plank position right here. And now I'm gonna hold my plank for three minutes. And you wanna just start off, you might not be able to hold the plank for three minutes, but if you've gotta go back down, get back up, and then begin counting your time again. Do a three minute plank. Now I've built myself up to doing a lot longer of a plank, but a plank is a great core exercise. These two things, you can do them anywhere. You can do them in your hotel room, you can do it at home, you can do it at the gym, but a plank is gonna work your whole core. So you're gonna be in this position, just like this, hold your core tight, and now, I'm gonna sit here in this position for as long as I can. And I'm gonna hold, um, your goal would be three minutes. My goal is gonna be longer than that because I do a plank for more than five minutes. I don't want to bore you with you watching me do my plank, but this is exactly what it looks like. My core is extremely tight. I got my abs tight, my glutes, Everything is tight. My midsection is tight, holding myself strong in this position. And that's what a plank looks like. You can see I'm a hot, sweaty mess. It's simple, but it's difficult. It's good to get you fit. This is workout number one, Fitness Friday, and gives you a glimpse into seeing what I do to stay healthy and fit. If you got any questions or comments about my workout routine, about this routine, just leave it in the comment section below. If you wanna see more workouts, give me a thumbs up. So I'll keep them going, show you how I stay fit. Stay tuned for the next one. It's gonna be another surprise, another full body workout, 30 minute workout here on Paint Life TV. We'll see you next Fitness Friday. Be stronger, paint longer. This is Paint Life Fitness. Out.